they called you for a job you're not healthy, be bold enough to tell them that I am not feeling well. Good evening, everyone. May the peace of the Lord be with us all. Please, I want to make this speech directly to the actors, all of us actors in Nollywood. Let's be our brother's keeper. Let's be, let's care for each other. Let's show love to each other. Okay, I don't know what um, people think they are struggling for. I don't know the competition. I don't know the madness. I don't know the stupidity. I want to plead. Let's also learn how to rest. You walk a little, you rest you. You see, Don Brimo case is a lesson to all of us. When you get to a particular age in life, you slow down from so many things. What we are doing is brain work, which is the most difficult job to do. Your brain work, it works 24 hours. You're delivering a character that is not you. You are struggling to be somebody that you're not. So to me, it's spiritual. Most of us are in Nollywood, yes, as actors, but I believe that most of us in this Nollywood are also prophets, some are prophetess, some are naturally the one you're on their own and not uh, the claim ones, the, those that believe and want a title or an office for it. Giving your life to Christ is something you shouldn't argue about because that's the only peace you have. What God cannot do does not exist. A situation God cannot arrest does not exist. We should always pray in our life that at any point in our life, let God bring someone that will come to our rescue at the most difficult point in our lives. In every situation you find yourself, let God bring in a helper from somewhere to stand in for you. It's a prayer point we should make. Let's anchor on God. Let's pray to this Almighty. Let's check where we have gone wrong and ask God for mercy. Let's ask God for mercy. Spiritual attack, spiritual that is do your health angle first. Let's check our health. Go for a complete test, maybe twice a year. Do it first before God only let me spiritual attack. Stop falling uh, into the pranks of uh, those people call us the one or whatever you call them, they will tell you some things you begin to sacrifice and fear a lot of things that is not real. I am not saying spiritual attacks don't exist, but all I'm saying, check your health first. Go for tests. Know the kind of things you need to eat and the ones that you don't need to eat at your age. Find out all those things first before you begin to look for which spiritual is coming from where. We can't all die in ignorance. I am begging us. Let's learn to care for each other. Is it me as Joyce? I don't care what you say about me. All I know is that in any situation I am with any of my colleagues, I will try my best to care as much as I can. Even if you don't care. I am not doing it because... I'm doing it for any other reason. I'm doing it because, it's, because God wants me to. Well, you care about another. The heavens honor you. I don't know why it's difficult for us to understand that this beef, restricting, blocking, they are all nonsense. To those that care to know where you follow and where you don't follow, and where you, they have time to think nonsense. I don't care to think about those things because we are looking at something that's bigger than all these little, little distractions. Let's love one another. The president has been saying something about this health insurance. Let's at least look into it. I think it's a good thing for us. You can use that insurance and go for a complete check. It's, it's time we all think and key to it. Let's not be negative about everything. If they call you for a job you're not healthy, be bold enough to tell them that I am not feeling well. If the person can wait for no problem. It's not compulsory that you carry your health and go somewhere. If anything happens, the show must go on. That's our slogan. I am, I'm, I'm pain. I'm deeply wounded. I just let me release this. Let us advise each other. It hurts. But how long are we going to continue this way? That's just my question. How long? <laughs>